I struggle with this definition of AGI, to be honest. The founding fathers of AI who came together in 1956 in Dartmouth, you know, the John McCarthy and Marvin Minsky of them, they wanted to solve the problem of machines that can think. And that's a problem that Turing, Alan Turing also put forward a few years earlier, 10 years or whatever, earlier than them. And, and that statement is not a narrow, it's not a narrow AI. It's a, it, it, it's a statement of intelligence. So I don't really know how to differentiate that, but that funding question of AI versus this new word AGI. To me, they're the same thing. But I get it that the industry today likes to call AGI as if that's beyond AI. And I struggle with that because I feel there, I don't know what exactly is AGI different from AI. If we say today's AGI-ish system performs better than the narrower AI system in 80s, 70s, 90s, or whatever, I think that's right. That, that's just the progression of the field. But fundamentally, I think the, the size of AI is the size of intelligence, is to create machines that can think and do things as intelligently or even more intelligently as humans. So I don't know how to define AGI. So I don't know, without defining it, I don't know if it's monolithic. If you look at the brain, it's one thing, you know, you can call it monolithic, but it does have different functionalities and you can even, there's broco area for language, there's a visual cortex, there's motor cortex. 